Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode two of After School Hanukkah. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Or Nene. It literally looks like Tomoyo from Car Capture Sakura. Uh, that's pretty much everybody. Nice! Lucky SSR! It's a girl who's just in love with love. Well, mm, yeah, in a way. Oh. Of course. Of freaking course. We're not supposed to do this! Big no no! Please don't do this at home. Then why would you want to do it? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> You what? But like, all right, guys, it's time to go home. See, Hanako is definitely gonna come in and move it to yes. <laughs> right. oh. No, no, no! Put the say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> I was expecting Hanako. <laughs> you want candy? idea let's say goodbye are we gonna see them today <gasps> Baby! Hi, baby boy! Oh. <gasps> yeah, we're still- Oh my god, my girl! My girl! 
<laughs> She's literally me. No. Bye. Oh, my little puppy. And he precious. Yeah. I love the eye in the top left corner. Oh my god, not like that. tried <sighs> you know when the, when we get the other version of this show and when we do see these two together again i am literally going to just <laughs> because my dung and rope ask we're calling hanako makoto and the other <laughs> and his brother <laughs> go by that <laughs> look at him so precious but evil <laughs> oh my god Oh my, no, no. You see why he gives me Kamina vibes? <laughs> and it's not only because of the Sayu, but he's just deliciously evil. And Kamina would do some shit like that. Oh my god. I need to also finish Ring Code, like ASAP. <laughs> That's cute. Look at him. Oh my god. I've missed him oh so much. He's just so much his baby boy that I loved. Oh my god. But literally, seeing these four today, like, oh my god, I was not expecting to see them, especially because of the fact is I was thinking we were just gonna go the whole entire show, um, just focus. Cause I mean, but yeah, they're in the opening, so they were bound to eventually show up. But still, this was so fucking cute. But yeah, also at the end of the day, please use kokure san with caution. It's same thing with the Ouija board or even a make like a homemade version. Always, 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 always say the fuck goodbye, please, because you don't want anything coming after you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be, be cautious. Be cautious. Me, I, I watch people do that ish on videos. Like, so, sometimes, like, okay, so I'll do it like this. Because I like horror so much, um, and a little bit of uh, paranormal and stuff, like, ish. But, um, there's a couple of YouTubers that I will sit and watch them do, like, paranormal, like, ish. Which is very interesting. There's one that I discovered maybe about, what, three or four years ago? And I insanely got addicted to watching, like, any of their stuff. Um, and so, like, I always like watching their older stuff. Because I feel like their older stuff is, like, that is the cutest picture ever. Both of them in a nutshell. <laughs> Oh, my babies. Um, 
their older videos are like their best ish and so anything that comes out now like they go more into detail on some of their overnight videos and such um and same thing how they did in, in the older videos and such but i feel like the details of the level of how they do it in their newer videos are just not as good um as their older videos but i will still occasionally watch their newer videos because i'm like it's more high quality and more in depth they're doing a lot more things in it and such especially because they're taking it a lot more seriously than they used to and stuff and then there's other group other guys um in this group who also do paranormal on their own and stuff and so it's very interesting to see people do it but like i said i'm i'm at home being like i ain't doing that ish i ain't dumb <laughs> no you will never see me do that it's like if i ever go to japan and if i ever do like vlogs it's just you know to show you my lovely journey and such um i will not be like other people who are disrespectful i'm always going to be respectful regardless and i will not do stupid shit i may do some fun stuff and everything because you know hey i love having fun and love doing you know crazy fun shit but at the same time no matter where the hell i'm going to go i'm always going to be respectful at the end of the day but going on to this and stuff this was a very interesting episode as i said i do have a question though um because now this pertains we i got my answer with this with what they're going to do with this now my other question is manga ones how long is this series how many manga volumes have i out because you know your girl might buy them i'm not 100 percent sure yet but your girl might buy them. Like, because another thing is, is the series kind of already done and such? Because then if it is, then I can just go ahead and buy the whole big thing. Like, you know, like the Demon Slayer stuff. But I ain't buying the Demon Slayer thing. That's too damn expensive. Um, <laughs> uh, homegirl. My, my best girl with the green hair. That really didn't sound like her. I, I think because maybe... It wouldn't surprise me if they maybe did change her say you or they possibly had her say you just do a little more of lightening her voice pitch wise instead of doing her like um it's still sweet but it's kind of moody as with her voice and such where anytime when she's on the radio she sounds completely different so it does make me wonder if it is the same say you or if it is someone else but yes seeing these four in the room together and the first time in forever it feels once again seeing these characters it feels like i'm home i'm happy that we're getting like even though it's only four episodes and we only really have two more episodes left and i have no idea when episode three is coming out next week um because there's something up with the app that i'm currently using and it's not giving me a day i still loved it like i'm happy that we're getting it for this and it makes me truly excited to like at the same time and i think i'm probably gonna end up doing this because i don't have season one of this on blu-ray i might end up buying it i think i am gonna rewatch season one even though we're getting like a season one you know revamped version of it um it does make me want to go back and see like what they're going to like retouch on details and everything especially when we get the newer version of it as well but yeah I'm, so, I'm, I'm always going to be sat and seated because I love the shit out of the show. It's just, it's my aesthetic in a nutshell. Horror and cute things. And that is literally me in a nutshell. And I love it so much. And I honestly cannot wait to see episode three. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of After School Hanako Coon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys sometime really next week. I don't know when. You might see me Monday. This came out Tuesday this week. But, you know, due to my birthday week. Um, even though my birthday was on Wednesday, um, I was getting my hair done. So everything from Tuesday to today is all coming out on different days. So you might see me, like I said, Monday, um, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, whenever the heck episode three comes out. So whenever I know, you'll know. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.